<clears throat> white pride, white pride, white pride. Everybody's so stoked on it. This rebel flag shit. And here's my opinion on it. The rebel flag, what it means to me, is shit. It means white pride. That's what it means. It doesn't mean heritage. What heritage? The heritage that you used to whip and hang and kill black people, rape them, enslave them? Really? Because that's the way they're looking at this flag. If you go from Virginia down south, just think of all the years they were hung, beat, enslaved, raped. What's your excuse for that? Oh, that was so long ago. It wasn't until 1960 did you let black people drink out of the same water faucet as you and go to the same school as you. So it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Okay, white people are terrorists. See my white skin? We are the terrorists of the world. And it is based solely upon Christianity. And that's the truth. Look at the terror we have waged against every race. Blacks, Jews, Indians, Chinese, Mexican. Do you remember Texas when we took it from the Mexicans? Do you remember that shit? Do you remember any of the shit that we've done? And the horror we've laid across... Oh, that was my answer. But it's still there. It was still done by white faces. All the way back to the pilgrims, to the Indians. The people we have slaughtered across this land and so many others. This is why people are fed up. And then you're online arguing. Oh, no such thing as white privileges. Are you kidding me? There used to be a white privilege, but there's not white privilege anymore because the government's doing what they want to do. They want to separate the people because together united, we're too strong. They're going to watch us kill each other off, and then they're going to come in and sweep up the fucking mess. Your rebel flag means, that's what it means, nothing. Come from Virginia down and look through the history of time. All the black people that were enslaved, raped, beat, hung tortured and what did they see when they that was all being done to them the rebel flag it doesn't represent racism it represents white pride don't bullshit yourself don't try to bullshit anybody else it's the truth slaughtering jews indians mexicans chinese it, it goes on and on and on back to the crusades Christianity has been behind all this shit. Look it up in history. Hitler was a Christian. Tried to take out the fucking Jews. Christianity are fucking terrors. Because they're misreading the Bible and putting their own spin on it what it means. And that's the truth. Call me dumb whatever you want, but you cannot deny history. White people have laid so much terror across this land and so many others, it's unfucking real It's time to get off your high horse, stick together as one, and change shit. Because if we don't change shit now, it's going to be too late. There's no difference between you and a black man and anything else, and that's the truth. We're human beings. We need to love each other. That's the way it is. So, all these white people up in arms about the rebel flag and all this other shit. Look at your history. Look at the, look at the shit we have done to people throughout the history. And you can't deny that. Oh, shut the fuck up, you white nigger-loving motherfucker. That's what I'll get back from this. I don't give a fuck. Because it's the truth. We, as white people, have laid so much terror across this land. And the same thing it goes for you. If you want to get rid of the rebel flag, then you got to get rid of that black power shit and the black power black, uh, black power flag because you 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 think it's racist when people say white power, but you don't think it's racist when somebody says black power. That don't make any fucking sense at all either. And the same thing for black people. Not all white people are bad. Not all white people are against you. Majority are. But you can't blame every white person because of what a cop's doing okay and what i wrote yesterday on my wall about black people black people got mad because you didn't start rallying and protesting until the white cops started killing you you didn't give a fuck or rally or protest when you were killing each other by the hundreds for the past how many years now 
the past two days, blacks killing blacks, there was no protesting. There was no marching in your neighborhoods that stopped the violence. Nope, just keep the drug flow going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. None of my business, out of sight, out of mind. Cameron, the rapper, was on Bill O'Reilly. If you knew a child molester was living next to you, would you say anything? No, that's not my job or not my place. Come on. Out of sight, out of mind. That's what white people have been doing to you for years, and you're doing it to your own people. But you weren't protesting. You weren't marching. You weren't doing blocking highways. You weren't doing none of this when these your people were killing each other. You gave no shit. It's only when the white man came in that you gave a shit and actually stuck together. Why don't you stick together in your own fucking neighborhoods and stop the bullshit in your own neighborhoods before you start implementing the shit anywhere else? It's a two-way fucking street here. So, wake up, people, because this is exactly what the government wants. They want us against each other and all that shit. Like I said, black people are wrong, white people are wrong, every other race is wrong. Until we come together as one, we're fucked.